All right, so this is how you can quickly embed your bot. All that you need to do is copy this code. And let's say you're using Wix, like in my case, all you need to do is insert embed code. And now you just paste that code that you just copied. And now the trick is just resizing it appropriately, but this is just an example. So we're just gonna resize it like that. And we're gonna click on preview to view it. And there we go. Now we have a chat bot that basically looks like this. You can resize it accordingly, but this is just a very, very quick way to do it. You can also embed that HTML in something like an HTML document, but I know most of you guys are building on Wix websites. It's the same on a WordPress website, still very, very easy to do. But this is how you would customize your bot. This stuff is all pretty self-explanatory. Here we are in the web chat styler for your bot. This stuff is all very, very self-explanatory. And there's even a YouTube video on how this works. So you can just go right here to watch a video because I don't really need to explain it because it's very easy. I think there's currently a bug in BotPress where you can't get to the Styler app from your bot dashboard. So all that you need to do is type in styler.botpress.app and it should take you right here. When you're done, you're gonna say get style sheet URL, copy this, and then in your BotPress dashboard right here, there should say style sheet URL. Then you just paste it in there and then your bot will look the way that you customize it in the web chat styler. I hope you guys enjoyed episode four and I really hope you guys found some value in this BotPress beginners course. If you have any questions of the sort, my community isn't that big at the moment. So you can shoot me an email and there's a very, very good chance I'll respond to you. If you get stuck, something like that, just shoot me an email and I'll try to help you out. Thank you very much for buying my course. I hope you guys found some value in it. I'll see you in the next one.